What's up guys, Full FIFA here back again with another video and today we are back with the UCL Champions League marquee matchup predictions for week 8 and we did this last week as well. Last week, I don't know why they did delay the the matchups until Wednesday so I'm not sure the date that it would actually come out if it's going to be Tuesday or Wednesday and they did go with um, Juventus versus Porto which was very confusing, not going to lie. I thought 100% I thought PSG was going to be in there because... Just, just just, the matchup is much bigger. So this week, um, I'll throw the teams up on the screen right now. I don't know what order they're going to put them in. They can literally choose whatever they want. But what I'm thinking, it might be Atletico Madrid versus Chelsea and like um, Lazio versus Bayern Munich. That's just out there. They could choose literally any of these four teams. So I would say pick up cards from each team because Juventus cards did rise a ton last week. They were around 5k. Um which is crazy during the first hour or so. So um, we'll get into the teams. I'll show you guys what exactly what kind of cards you guys need to buy. So let's get into that. So first we got uh, Atletico Madrid versus Chelsea. And again, this is a pretty decent matchup. So if we do go to Atletico Madrid, they do have a lot of rare cards that you guys can actually pick up. Um, the one that I always did go with was Torreira. Again, um, pick these cards up during Squad Battle Rewards. You guys do have some time when this video is posted. Um, pick these guys up during Rewards or if packs come out again, if there's some SBCs, try and pick this card up for 650 coins. That's the max I would pay for this card. Um, again, he only discards for two coins less. So pick these guys up for as low as you guys can. Don't pay more than 650 for this card. I'm telling you that right now, just in case, because EA can choose whatever teams they want. So pick these cards up for absolute discard. Don't go above that. Um, so I chose Torreira from the rares, and if we do take a look at the non-rares, there aren't very many options. Again, there's only that Savage guy that, that is popping up for us. So then if we do move on to Chelsea, if we do move on to Chelsea's non-rare collection of cards that they do have, if you guys can pick up this Caballero for 300 coins, that is my go-to option. Again, um, pick these cards up for discard. Don't pay above discard on them. 300 coins will be an absolute steal again. He only discards for um, even this Baba because you guys can also pick up this Baba for 300 coins if you guys wanted to um, during rewards times. So Caballero or Baba are my main options from these guys. And then if we do take a look at the rares, they do have a couple of rares that you guys can actually pick up. Um, the best option would probably be Chilwell or that um, Alonzo left back as well because again, they're only two coins below discard. For, uh, for 650 coins so those are the two rares that I did choose and then if we move on to the next matchups we do have um, Lazio versus Bayern Munich so if we hop on over to Bayern Munich for the rare cards we do have a couple that you guys can actually pick up if you guys are able to get this Javi Martinez that was my main option that was the easiest card to get I did pick up a couple already I'm gonna pick up a lot more during squad battle rewards again um, and if you do take a look, you guys, if you guys see this Davies for 650 coins, you probably won't get him just because his um, price is so high. Also, along with that, this goalkeeper for 600 coins is is another good deal. Again, he does discard for 600 coins, so zero, zero risk on that investment. And then if we do take a look at the non rares if you guys can get this Chupo Motang for 300 coins, that is a great option as well. You guys might be able to flip these cards, actually, even... Even flipping the 79 rated cards, the non rares for 400 coins um, for any team pretty much because there is an SBC that 82, 82 um, rated to 88 rated SBC which is currently out as well. So just due to that, these prices, you guys can sell them off. So again, um, for this one, the big thing is do sell off um, before these matchups do come out because I don't know which ones they're going to choose. I Personally, I'm just going to sell these cards off just the day before the marquee matchups do come out. So that would probably be Monday. I'll start looking into selling these cards off or Tuesday morning. I'll take a look into selling these cards off because they're probably going to be high in price again because last week the same thing did happen. Again, the Barcelona players, I did make that video, the Barcelona players were at like 1,300 coins. So that's when I would probably sell off. And then if we do take a look at Lazio as well, Lazio has um, a couple of 75 rated cards that you guys can try and pick up. This cam right here is pretty easy to pick up for 75 rated. Again, he just discard for 300 coins. So only pay 300 coins for him. This center back, how edit, how edit, how edit. You guys can also pick him up as well if you guys are able to. Again, he is quite expensive just due to his um, center back position. So only pay around 
I'm only buying these cards for discard. I ain't gonna go any more than uh, 650 coins for the rares and then 300 coins for the non-rares, 350 coins for the non-rares. So for the rares, um, I would stick with the non-rares honestly for uh, Lazio just due to their team not having a lot of um, these 81 rated rare cards. Because so even this um, Lazari, uh, he was pretty hard to pick up, but it drinks well without rewards. If there is a lot of supply of this guy, you might want to look into picking him up as well. That is another good option on that. So then, if we hop on over to Bar um, if we hop on over to Atlanta versus Real Madrid, we got more options here. Uh, if we do look at the rare cards, so the rare cards again, the only ones that you guys can really like actually pick up. It's probably going to be this Darun. Darun, again, he is a decent option. Only two, two coins below his discard is 650. So Darun is super easy to get. I'm going to pick a couple of him up just because he's going to be super easy to get. I know for a fact. And again, if you do look at these non-rares, you guys can pick them up for 350 coins, any of these cards, because they do suffer around around 500 coins right now. So that's pretty much zero risk again. And yeah, you guys can literally pick up any of these cards i wouldn't pay more than 350 coins for them and then if we do take a look at real madrid as always real madrid um doesn't have a ton of non-rare cards but if you're able to get this goalkeeper for like 300 350 coins that's an amazing option on that um i would try and get him for 300 coins first um just because he's discard again and this right back if you can get him for 350 that is another great option then we take a look at the rares in the rares we do have a bunch that you guys can actually pick up there's a couple but no none's 81 rated that's uh like a very good deal so you guys can take a look at vasquez and jovic um for 650 coins again those were my main two options from the rare cards for these guys lastly we do have man city versus brucia munchen back so if you do hop on over to man city again man city is always pretty high up in price and if there's an SBC out they usually do tend to rise a lot just because of this just because they have so many high rated cards and it's really hard to actually find cards that are lower rated for them so if you're able to get this diaz for around 650 coins that is a very good option if you guys can't get them i would grab this fodian fodian instead um he is also another good option even the left the left back is super hard to get i don't know what what's up with that i'm pretty sure he just transferred that's also a problem with him so this fodian or even this diaz if you guys can get them for pretty cheap they are my main two for the rares and if we do take a look at the non-rares this goalkeeper if we can get them for 350 coins that is a very good deal again these cards are selling for around um 500 coins each just for the non-rares they're like insta selling and then if we do hop on over to the last team which is launch and glove back um so for the non-rares they do have a bunch of cards that you guys can actually pick up this uh, Triori and this left back were my main two options for 300 coins. That's what I went with. Uh, personally, if you guys want, you guys can go with these other cards as well. Like if you can try and get this center back, um, you can even try and go for this left back or this right mid as well for 350 coins. But again, I'm sticking with the discard because of just what happened last week. Because I for sure thought they were going to choose the biggest matchups, which they didn't for some reason. But that's up to EA again. And if we do take a look at the rares, the ones that the two that I did go with were Plea and Stindl. Stindl because he's German, just in case there's some requirement for him. And then Plea is French and he does link with a lot of cards. So people tend to use him a lot in these Munch and Glovback SBCs. So also, uh, I won't be investing in these UCL cards this week because we I did lose a bunch of coins last week along with some of you guys as well. My apologies for that. I didn't know that they were actually even going to... Um, not choose PSG cards or uh, PSG versus I think they were seeing um, Barcelona I didn't know that they weren't going to choose them because that is one of the biggest matchups so again it's up to EA to choose whatever they want um, so that's that's the reason that I'm probably going to be selling one day in advance just because it's 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 pretty much risk-free investing if you do sell it one day in advance because these players are going to rise to probably like 1200 1300 coins again just in anticipation so i usually tend to sell off all those cards um make some make a couple of coins and then keep a couple of cards just in case they get into that sbc and they go to like 5k each 
that's what I tend to do and that's what I suggest you guys do as well sell one day before because that's 100% guaranteed coins on those cards and don't wait till the SBC actually does come out so if you guys enjoyed the video remember to leave a like thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time peace